Welcome to Career Team 101. Let's start with a quick fire round. No. No. And still no. Now on to the proper questions. Creatine is a molecule we naturally produce in the body. We know it's not a steroid, it's a natural tripeptide, which means it has three amino acids. If you have a diet which has meat, eggs, dairy, then you will naturally be eating creatine. Creatine ethyl-ester, crealkaline, HCL, and that there, Celtec. However, the best one is creatine monohydrate. It is the cheapest, it is the most researched. And I've actually forgot to take mine today, so uh, bottoms up. <sighs> Tom, am I bald yet? Nearly. So now we know what creatine is, and the best type to take, we're going to be looking at how to supplement with it. Now, when we look at dosage, there's two types of approaches you can take. You can take a loading or maintenance approach. If you decide to go through the loading of creatine, it would be 0.3 grams per kilogram of your body weight per day, which for an 80 kg male, that would be 24 grams. And you'd break that up over five grams every few hours. If you wanted to go to a maintenance approach, you would have five grams per day, and you would just reach saturation a little bit longer. Next thing, do you need to cycle creatine? There's been over 700 studies looking at creatine on humans, and it would suggest that you do not need to cycle it. Another misconception is that you need to spike insulin when taking creatine. This doesn't seem to be the case. Non-responders, it is a thing. There are non-responders, it has been highlighted in research. And this is why I like to use maybe the loading approach because every time you take creatine, when you load it, it actually stores intramuscularly with water. So if you weigh yourself on a daily basis, look over that five to seven day period and see if your average spikes up. And finally, caffeine. Does it have a negative effect on creatine uptake? Well, there's one study which suggests it may, but there's also other research which shows creatine loading on a six day period, followed by caffeine, has additional ergogenic benefits. So, what are the benefits of creatine? Well, creatine is the most researched supplement out there, and there's not many supplements I recommend, but creatine is one of them. It has many performance benefits, such as improving strength, power, especially for anaerobic activity, like weight training. But there's also other benefits cognitively, showing those with depression taking creatine supplementation do show some signs of improvement. If you like this video, hit like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And let me know in the comment section, do you load or do you not load? I just wanna say a special thank you to examine.com, who is my go-to when it comes to supplementation. We put the link in the description below. Go over there, check it out. They go into it a lot more depth than I have in this short video.